And thank you to all of you who reached out with some great questions on social media. They've been coming in rapid fire. Yes. Meteorologist Connor Lewis has been going through Facebook and Instagram. He's joining us right now with some answers. All right, Connor, first question right here. What's the timing of the storm, when it will begin, and uh, how many inches of snow are we getting? Obviously, this is some of what's been changing over the past few days, right? Yeah, Mark, Aaron, for sure. Yeah, the, the definitely we've been changing around with the snow totals over the past couple of days, but the timing does seem to be pretty good alignment that we're going to start looking at those light snow accumulations around midnight for tomorrow and then into Saturday morning. We're going to start to see that piling up. So we're waking up with everything covered in snow for Saturday morning, and this is going to be a little bit of a deceptive period for Saturday morning. The winds aren't that bad, gusting up to 30 miles per hour is only a couple inches, few inches on the ground, but this is going to be a time where you don't want to go for a long trip or something like like that maybe one more last minute errand for Saturday morning because by the time we get to 10 o'clock in the morning Saturday into 4 p.m. that's going to be the worst of it. We're seeing one to two inch per hour snowfall rates and then light snow continue into the evening and then flurries will cap us off for Saturday evening. So the good news is that all this mess is going to be on Saturday for us. All right. Well, question number two here as of this moment, where do things stand as to storm impacts? They're talking snow, wind, the whole kit and caboodle. So we want to definitely get this uh, message across that things are going to be worse in eastern Connecticut compared to western Connecticut in terms of the snowfall. However, the winds are going to be pretty evenly spread across the state. So power outages are going to be pretty likely for just about anyone. However, more likely for eastern Connecticut towards Rhode Island because the snow will be heavier over there and we may actually see some places get into the mid 50s for those uh, for the mile pro for the gusts mid 50s, uh, 55 mile per hour wind gusts are going to be possible towards Rhode Island. So of course, with that possibility of some trees coming down and uh, isolated power outages as well. Yeah, good to know right there. Our last question right here, Connor, Caitlin wants to know, I have a flight Sunday at 6 a.m. What's the likelihood of cancellations for any morning flights? Caitlin, I think you should pack your bags. You're good to go. Hopefully you're going somewhere warmer than us. We'll just take <laughs> care of everything here in Connecticut. We'll be uh, freezing for sure, but uh, you know, um, have fun out there. Everything, flights should be good to go by Sunday morning, you know, uh, cleaning up the roads, everything like that. We're back to business on Sunday morning. All right, are you excited about this, Connor? Yeah, I'm pretty um, uh, super stoked, man. Ah, <laughs> Let's bring it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, you know, nice um, definitely want to see some snow, you know, and uh, also some good news. 50s are in the forecast, you know, so right around the corner. We might see some of that snow melting. All right. All right. We're on the up and up. Thank